Good morning, I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. US stocks bounced back in Friday trading, ignoring a hotter than expected payrolls print and upward pressure on bond yields. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 0.8%, the S&P 500 gained 1.11%. The Nasdaq was the best performing index, rising 1.24%. Despite the bounce, all three indexes posted a losing week. The Dow slid 2.27%, posting its worst weekly performance in 2024. The S&P 500 declined 0.95% during the period, while the Nasdaq lost 0.8%. On Friday, the Labor Department's report showing that job growth totaled 303,000 in March. Non-farm payrolls were expected to increase by 200,000, according to Dow Jones estimates. Wages rose 0.3% for the month and 4.1% from a year ago, both in line with estimates. As a result of this, Treasury yields jumped. Investors are torn between wanting a stronger economy to support further corporate earnings growth and wanting a weaker jobs market that will give the Federal Reserve the green light to begin cutting interest rates. The Russell 2000 index is on track to experience its most significant weekly decline since January, with small cap stocks facing notable struggles, as indicated by a 2.9% decrease by Friday afternoon. This performance underscores a broader trend of small cap stocks underperforming this year, with the index poised for a larger loss compared to the three major averages for the week. Turning to US sectors, all closed higher on Friday. Communication services was the best performer. Consumer staples recorded the fewest gains. Looking ahead to the Australian landscape, the SPY futures are pointing to a 0.5% gain. Thank you for listening.